Hello, my name is Joanna and I want to welcome you to Athlone Castle. Each year at the end of August, Ireland celebrates National Heritage Week. Heritage Week is coordinated by the Heritage Council with people all around the Ireland um, celebrating Irish natural build and cultural heritage. We'd like you to join us in celebration and that is why we have prepared uh, loads of fun activities for you to enjoy when you visit Athlone Castle or virtually um, from our website and social media channels. For this year uh, Heritage Week we're going medieval. In this video I'll show you how to make a helmet fit for a night. And to make it easier, we have prepared a template that you can download from our website and print at home. So this is it. So uh, let's start by printing out our template. And as I said before, make sure that you use a, a little bit heavier paper. It's just gonna make your, um, it's gonna make your helmet uh, that much stronger. We're gonna start by cutting it out. So, um, just go around the heavy lines there. Just cut, cut, cut. Don't worry if you don't get them exactly straight. As long as you don't go through the, the circles there, it's fine. Because they're gonna be hidden away anyway. So cut, 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 cut. On this side. And the bottom here. Now you want to keep this one fairly straight because that's got to be the edge of your helmet. The next thing you do is cut on those lines just gently because you don't want to go past that line, okay? That's what's going to hold your hel helmet together. So now we have the two uh, parts uh, cut out. We're gonna put them on, on the side and we're gonna cut out this one. Now this one is tricky because you'll have to try and cut out those, but I'll show you how to do it in just a minute. We're gonna start by cutting around. And again, I wouldn't worry too much if you cut into the lines. That's why we made the lines quite thick so it's easier to cut out. Okay, cut, 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 cut. We're going around and around. Now, and that's done. We're going to put this on the side. And now, to cut those little um, windows, what you could do is fold the whole thing in half. See, that's our cheating part. And now we can cut it here. Cut, cut, flip it, and cut. And ta-da! So this one is done. We're gonna continue with the rest of those little windows. This is how the knights see through their um, helmet. all those little uh, windows there. The next step is we're going to take our puncher, hole puncher, and you see those little circles? We mark the, um, the place where you should make the hole with your puncher. Now you might want to ask your squire for help with this. See we have a little hole there and this is a very handy tool, isn't it? Now, this part is ready. We're gonna put it on the side and we're gonna move on to the next part. So we're gonna take those pieces back. And this is tricky. All those mark the place where you need to put, uh, uh, make a hole because we're gonna put them all together to create the helmet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start making the holes here. Mm -hmm. 
So the next thing that we, um, we're gonna do is the feathers that will be decorating the top of our helmet. And as I said, that's why we have um, the crepe paper here. What I want you to do is to fold it I'm going to fold it like this and then cut that part off. It's just going to make it much easier. And now just cut around. Make sure that you leave one of the parts kind of um, thicker at the, the side. So we have some feathers here. Chop, chop, chop. Now, and same as before, we're gonna cut around, creating nice little feathers here. And we're gonna put them all together and leave them on one side now. Before we put them together, you might want to decorate your helmet. So, um, true. let me see what colors we have here. We're gonna use the red for the edge. So guys, by now we have all our little bits and pieces together, um, cut out and ready to put into the helmet. We're gonna glue those two together this way, right? So we're gonna take our glue stick and go all around here. Now, when you're doing this, try to make sure that the whole is in the same place, or roughly in the same place, okay? Now, ta-da! Make sure that it sticks. The next thing is, we're gonna try and make sure that the, the helmet fits. So, um, we're gonna put it around our heads like this. And mine is perfect, but if yours is too big, just cut it slightly, and then we'll be able to glue the, the two parts together again. We're gonna glue the other part. So again, our trusty glue stick on the first line. Make sure that there's plenty of glue so it sticks right on. And we have it here. Again, make sure that the holes match. Ta-da! Now, I'm gonna put this, so we have this kind of a structure here. So once we have this ready, we're gonna put our crown together. And to do this, we will need our split pin and we're gonna stick it through the, the one of the glued part and then we're gonna just put them one by one. We're gonna go one by one around and you can already see the shape of the helmet, can you? Now, we pin them all there One by one, we're halfway there. A few more and we'll have it ready. Now, I'm gonna turn it around for the last two because it's quite hard to get them. Now, looks quite handsome, doesn't it? And then we're gonna add this bit, right? So, to do that, we have to take We have to measure it, right? So we have it here. I'm gonna take one of our crayons and mark the spot. And now we're gonna hold it and put it around and mark it on the other side. So now we know where to make um, our two punch holes. Puncher, 
we're gonna do a quick snap and on the other side nearly there snap so we have the two holes now we can attach the final well the, the, this bit to it so again we take our split pins put them through the hole turn it around sorry and split that's nice and secure and we're going to do the same on the other side so our last split pin through the hole turn around and secure so what we're going to do is we're just going to glue them to it so our trusty glue stick on this side and one now what you think our helmet is ready with the wind it's just gonna move like feathers and there you have it our medieval knight's helmet and um, thank you so much for joining me if you missed my previous one um, in which i made um medieval armor you can still um, find it on our website and um, you can also um, look for our instructions on how to make medieval sword and um, shield to complete the look we would love to see your wonderful creations so um, make sure to take a photo and email us at um, info at atlonecastle.ie or simply tag at Lone Castle on Instagram or uh, Facebook and we'll uh, be happy to share your uh, pictures. For more of our Heritage uh, Week events visit um, our website www.atlonecastle.ie and you'll find um, interviews with our special guests who were telling us more about the life in medieval times you can also um, join my friend David on his archaeological excavation during his dig with David workshop um, and there's much much more so don't miss it we would like to thank the Heritage Council and the Irish Wall Town Network for funding this workshop I hope you really enjoyed our workshops and um, you'll have a great Heritage Week thank you